Hi everybody, I'm Dina Proctor, creator of 3x3 Meditation and author of Madly Chasing Peace. I am going to do a quick video today about uh, talking about postures during meditation. Is there a right way to sit and meditate? Is there a wrong way? Um, for me, the short answer is there is no right or wrong way to do it. There's no perfect way to do it and there's no wrong way to do it in my uh, experience. When I first started meditating, you probably know my story, I was detoxing from alcohol and so many negative thoughts and should I or should I commit suicide? Like that was what was going through my mind when I first started meditating. So I was in a fetal position on the couch and I can't say what I was doing was meditating at that time, but it was the precursor to where I am today. So what's interesting is that as I was going through my process of learning how to meditate those first two, three, four, five, six weeks, it became obvious to me that my body would sort of point me into certain ways of sitting, which was interesting because nobody sat with me and taught me a certain position to meditate in or, um, you know, like you picture how yogis sit or Buddha position or anything like that. Like nobody really told me that or taught me that. It was just sit still and focus on your breath. That was the only thing that I was told to do. So as my meditation evolved and I got more uh, comfortable with it and more deep as into my practice, I started to notice that my body would prefer, uh, I almost had this kind of like intuitive guidance to sit towards the edge of the couch. So I would kind of scooch towards the edge of the chair, or the edge of the couch, and this way my back wasn't supported, but it was straighter than if I was kind of slouching into the couch and sitting that way. So um, not that that would be the best position for you, but I want to illustrate the, the point that my body was showing me the best way for me to be able to tap into that in intuitive guidance and that deep place that I sit in meditation. And um, I'm also very comfortable when I sit cross-legged in meditation. If I'm sitting on a couch or a chair and sitting at the edge with my feet flat on the floor, that works great for me. And I also like to kind of sit with my legs crossed like that. Um, that also works really well for me. And I noticed too, because I would just kind of sit with my hands in my lap when I first started meditating. It wasn't, I wasn't doing anything with them. I wasn't particularly crossing them or uncrossing them. But I found that as I was kind of guided to sit towards the edge of the seat or edge of the couch, my, my hands, if I would leave them in my lap, like with my palms facing down, they wanted to open. And so I end up with one palm on each knee palms facing up. So just, you know, if I'm sitting cross-legged or if I'm sitting on the edge, just with my palms face up, one on each knee. That was just how my body felt guided to sit. And what was also interesting, and this is what first got me curious about what a third eye, people talk about the third eye, or I, there's a chakra maybe, <laughs> but um, there's, there's something here, like a point here, and I hadn't really ever known anything about that or what that was, but when I would meditate, I could kind of feel that there was an energetic, it was almost like my eyes were rolling up to hit this point here. And when I'm, when I, I can feel that when I transcend into that depth of meditation, the first few moments that you sit down, you kind of, your mind is still going and things are still happening, but there's something that almost feels like a locked gate is closing or there's a, there's a weight that's there. And it feels almost, if you've ever, uh, this is what I analogize it to when I've been to the dentist before and they're taking an x-ray, they put this heavy, uh, thing on like an apron or something and it's supposed to shield your body from the x-rays right and it has like a weight to it like a, a heavy weight to it um but it's not uncomfortable it's all it's kind of like a comforting thing and that's what i feel like when i'm meditating i feel like i don't have that thing on and then what you know when i first sit down to meditate and then as i get deeper into it i can feel this almost like heaviness to my body. It's like a, a sinking in or a settling in that happens. So so that's kind of the experience that I have when I know that I'm hitting the place where I'm deepening into my meditation practice. You know, getting, getting or not even the practice itself, but just those couple minutes of meditating. I can tell that I'm clicking into that space. So my tips and point, but I also know people that 
like to lie on the floor with arms and legs open, you know, that they, they sit like that, almost like you're making a snow angel. And that's their best way to, to sit, to get into a meditative position. So there's no right, there's no wrong way. Even when I was doing the, in the fetal position, it's more about the intention that you hold as you're doing it in my experience than the actual position that you're in. So that's just my, um, experience in being led to be into certain meditation positions. And so your body and your intuitive guidance will show you the best position for you. But that was the way that it kind of worked for me. So I just get a lot of people that have questions about this stuff. I actually put together a program that I call Meditation 101. It's walking people through not necessarily positions and stuff, but just gradually getting them into the key concepts and how to use meditation in order to be able to shift and transform their lives. You may already have that program and that's why you're watching these videos. <laughs> but anyway, if you're interested in it, it's just my website, dinaproctor.com slash meditation 101. So I have that resource for people that want to kind of take it to the next level. So anyway, I hope that this is helpful for you. As always, take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. And I so appreciate you sharing this space and this journey with me. Thank you so much for joining me here.